All week long, Germany is in focus. We're bringing you a closer look at the ties between East Texas and one of America's closest allies. GMET's Lane Lucky is back in Europe exploring the people, the politics, culture, and the history behind these deep ties. This morning, he's in the southern state of Bavaria and the capital city of Munich. Now he's live now with more on what may be a familiar sight for some of us. Lane, good morning. Guten Morgen, Victoria. I'm in Marienplatz, or Our Lady's Square. It's been the city center since the 1100s, and beautiful Gothic architecture surrounds you. It's something you'll see in cities all across Germany. Now, in major cities, including here in Munich, much of it was destroyed in bombings in World War II. It's since been rebuilt, and it's all recognizable the world over. And if you look really closely, you might even spot some of the same features here in the oldest town in Texas. Take a look. Few names are as widely known in Nacogdoches as Stephen F. Austin, Sam Houston, or Thomas J. Rusk. But there's one lesser known figure whose influence is plainly visible in every corner of this city, Diedrich Rolfs. As far as local history is concerned, he belongs even higher than these people because these people laid foundations but he's the one who built on top of all of those foundations. Rolfs immigrated here from northern Germany in 1880. Over the next four decades the architect designed many of the buildings now considered among Nacogdoches most recognized landmarks. But the story of Rolfs legacy may not be as well preserved if not for historian Jerry Jackson. He moved to East Texas in 1970 accepting a job at SFA. I had a plan that I found in the attic of the house that I had just bought. I didn't buy it because it was a Rolf's house. A desire to learn more about this little known builder led to decades of discovery through meticulous research. And in 2014, Jackson published Designing Modern Nacogdoches. The book details Rolf's life in Germany, the historic landscape of the city, and a detailed account of Rolf's career in East Texas. With his advent among us, dates the real beginning of improvements in our city. Despite its Spanish colonial founding, Nacogdoches was quickly becoming a reflection of its changing population. The east part of downtown was known as Germantown in the 1830s because it had immigrant after immigrant after immigrant that came from Germany. The earliest of Rolf's designs drew upon memories of his homeland. Fire was the number one problem in northern Germany. So he transformed the entire business district from wood into brick. Most of the downtown square, including City Hall and the fire station, to Main Street and beyond, all bear his mark. Rolfs filled Nacogdoches with church spires so that you could have a visual point of reference as you went through and looked at the town. Rolfs even recreated elements of the church where he was married in Ottens, Germany. And that little church stuck with him. And so he put the steeple of that church on Zion Hill over here in Nacogdoches, and he put the nave and the transept and everything else into the Episcopal Church. But the ornate homes built by Rolfs are the most visible heritage remaining. He transformed all of the domestic settings in Nacogdoches built the wonderful houses on North Street and on Washington Square and on Erian Hill. Victorian Queen Anne, Classic Revival, Tudor, and Bungalow Craftsman were his most used styles. Favorite elements include intricate woodwork, Palladian windows, columns, complex roofs with pediments and chimneys, and wide porches. When you come from a flat area, you like the perspectives you get from a vantage point of height. And so his houses were all raised. Now with the passage of time, few people who knew Rolfs personally are living to preserve his memory. But his creations, these timeless architectural treasures, reveal so much about his old world upbringing. Now, 
most of the homes that you just saw are private residences. But if you're lucky, some of them will appear occasionally on special tour of homes events. So you don't really have to come all the way to Germany to appreciate that really unique architecture style. Reporting live in Munich this morning, I'm Lane Lucky. Bringing this report again, just reminding us of the ties that we're walking by every day. Thanks.